really safe sunlight to drink the fresh air you are more so hands everything can you can eat actually is a form of creation of for nature you are not so thankful you want to receive everything for free so i'm recording another video today uh, the audio might be really bad because i'm in the library right now there's no one but also i don't want to risk it i'm recording again today because it's my first day of uni and actually like it's already 7 it's already 8 6 54 now and I didn't really record anything today, but I started uni at 2 p.m. today and I went to my first ever lecture, which was two hours. Um, it was pretty good. I keep thinking someone said, man, now I am studying and doing some like pre-reading before my Friday tutorial. I am in the library. I've been here since four um, and I'm doing just the readings and taking notes and stuff. So yeah, later on I'm going for dinner. Um, I'm probably going to be filming this as like a first week of my uni experience something because I'm only like doing two things in school this week Wish that I could spend time alone with So, oh, I don't know what it's chair squeaking but everyone left here around 6 and there's now nobody I'm just doing my notes the notes are actually really nice um, I spent a bit of time on it. Time on it. I did my 10 pages of reading on my textbook. I ate something. I have water, coffee. There's absolutely no one. Bitch, what the fuck? Out each other. Your emotion keeps haunting me like a ghost you can see. Wish my feelings weren't based on the changing weather Picked a mask on on my face just for another day Having everything in your head, keep it inside Look out everyone, keep them out of sight They just wanna see you love, they don't wanna hear you say I wanna cry Don't you wish it was just mind over matter so I am kind of like in a rush, but then like, yeah, my friend's like calling me and they're like all the way down in the lower campus, but it is what it is. The one day I wear white shoes, it's raining. She was just mind over matter, when she was just all in your head. I literally just ran, not because I wanted to be earlier, but because there were so many people behind me watching me film. I want to pad that big man truck right in this little garage. Hi, I'm um, Matt. Was I'm late. Matt's employee, employer. Um, I employer. Employ, employ Matt. Yeah, it's really cold. I was gonna wear that today. Lucky I didn't. Don't want to be matching with the help. They were the people I was running for. I was running. I literally was running. You know who runs the poor? <laughs> Rich people don't need to run. Okay. Rich people. Joking. Oh. I told him he wasn't invited. Sorry, what? Mm -hmm. You never even told me who was invited. Like who else am I gonna invite? Hey baby! Hello! <laughs> you can't even see my face. Yeah, Matt's, Matt's shoes are off. dead now because... Please his... step on his shoes if you find him. Yeah. Thanks! He Asian should get used to his white thing. shoes, but yeah. You're all wearing white shoes. Katina! Currently it's after 12. And we are walking to my car from the station. My shoes are still white and it's still wet. Day two. Currently 2 p.m. on the Wednesday of this week. Um, so it is the next day from what I filmed. I just finished work. I woke up, I got home at like 1 yesterday after dropping all my friends home and then 
going home myself and then I decide and then I had work at 9am this morning now it's 2pm and I'm off work and I'm probably just gonna be making myself some lunch and then I will do some lecture work I might take a break just before I start working but I'll do some lectures and do some more of my pre-reading for this week but yeah um, that's what I'll be doing today and then hopefully I don't have much to do tomorrow and something to do on Friday so yeah, I hope I hope to like have a chill weekend because I do have to work both days on the weekend. But yeah, let's see how it goes. So right now it's like 4 p.m. and I am currently um, I just finished showering and I took a little nap and then now I'm gonna be watching my lectures and having my <coughs> I'm gonna be watching lectures and having lunch. Um, I'm just having some leftovers from the other day and yeah, hopefully I'll be getting through one or two, or maybe even three lectures today um just sitting here i yeah so when i'm watching my lectures i usually have it downloaded on my ipad so i can annotate whenever i also watch it in like 1.5 speed because it's 50 minutes Try. Thousands of tears later. Just give you a framework to think about psychology and how we teach it, and a tiny little preview of some of the topics and things that you'll study. Slowing down and going through my mind, you tell myself I'm fine. You're day three. It is day four. Um, well, uh, it is Thursday on. It is Thursday. It is uh, around 4 p.m. in the afternoon, I've spent my entire day. Well, I was out this morning, so it doesn't really count. I started around like maybe like two, and I've spent like two hours basically just spent just like revising, revising and putting all my notes that I've taken this week um, into um, my Notion like page. Um, I'll show you how it looks like. I've really only just done it for my criminology page. Um, I have set up everything, um, like the lectures. I've like oh, like their like learning statements, um, and then you go um, like criminology. There's a lot of drop down menus. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this to its most like capacity, but this is how I'm using it at the moment, like something like that. Yeah. Basically just like that. So now that I've done that, I've done it for one subject, so one of my three subjects. I've actually taken notes for my other subject as well, um, my Psychology 101 class. I've already done that, um, the notes for that, and then do all the lectures for that yesterday. I just need to compile all that information into my Notion document again. But then uh, my third course, which is due this Sunday, because they have like a discussion forum thing and a quiz every single week, I haven't started but right now I'm a bit too not focused and a bit too tired to do that so maybe I'll do that later tonight or maybe tomorrow because tomorrow I do have uni I just need to get all the criminology stuff out of the way because I do have a tutorial for criminology tomorrow morning well afternoon so yeah I'm just trying to get that done and then maybe I can get other things done later on so I just currently finished my swim I drove like 30 minutes to get to this pool I, like in this apartment complex I usually live in and I um, just finished 20 laps and yeah um, it was a good workout I guess <laughs> it was good to get my head off things and like clear my mind for a little bit <sighs> so now I'm gonna go eat dinner with my mom and yeah so I'm currently inside the sauna I don't think I'm supposed to bring my phone in here, but you know what, it's... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm walking back to my car now, so it calls for um, story time. I met the weirdest guy. Well, I didn't meet him, I saw the weirdest guy when I was at the pool. When I went there, he was like going to the gym while I was swimming. So I was like, oh, okay. 20 minutes later, he came out like panting, and I was like, oh, sure. That was a quick workout. 
and then fully clothed he walked straight into the jacuzzi that I was in like that's so disgusting all the sweat and stuff just brought inside the jacuzzi that I was sitting in so I got him and left I went into the sauna five minutes later he went into the sauna he walked in he was like whoa so hot and I was like the fuck like in my head I was like of course it's hot it's a fucking sauna <laughs> anyway that's my story time for today you might think it's weird that I decided to travel 30 minutes to go to the pool it is very weird but it was actually a very good mental health day because my mental health is bad <laughs> but yeah it was a very good time I sat there when I was alone in a jacuzzi by myself and that was very fun I sat there for like 20 minutes just thinking and then I went to the sauna for like 15 minutes it was great and um, I'd love to do it again uh, now I'm gonna go have dinner and I might just do some more work when I get home today day four steps is ringing in my ear and there's nothing to fear we showed you everything we're still fine without you in my mind so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Hi guys. Hi. So now it is Friday and we are on oh, campus. I almost said ew on the floor. Oh, <laughs> it's just so cool. Hey, uh, guys, I'm going to go there again. But I love baby food. You know my friend, I love baby food. Yeah, he has a baby food. Oh my god, Jay walking. <laughs> Not the criminology student. <laughs> we are on campus and. We are both doing tutorials today and then studying. I have a linguistics tutorial for two hours and then I have two lectures for psychology to watch. Lame. Okay. We are eating. Should we eat the cafe? <laughs> the whole cafe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm filming this like the whole week. Oh, me too. This is my last yeah. week. My first week of uni. <laughs> <laughs> You want to you? We're so cool. Tina's telling us how she saw a cult happen yesterday on campus. Guys, it's not a cult. I respect and love our religions. Personally, I don't. I'm not in one. <laughs> You're not in a cult? <laughs> <laughs> religion. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, no. No, they can do whatever they want. But, you know, when I see them on campus <laughs> and they're in little circles reading the Bible, I think that it's great. And that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. So get them out of me and I'll get back to you. I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> wow, we're so cool. Is this the criminology department? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I came like two minutes before you did something. Oh, okay, because I have no idea. I was like walking around. Yeah. Like, where the hell was this? I didn't realize I was an officer. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, I'm Andrew. Oh, I'm Matthew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. System, but I will fix it for next week. Hopefully. This party's here, you love. They don't want to hear you say hello. Don't you wish it was just my over matter knowing that I'm still not sure what I want to do yet. Yeah, fair enough. I'm Sienna, I'm doing a Bachelor of Arts major in criminology and I'm not too sure what I want to do yet either. Yeah, here's a work it out. So I did just finish my tutorial. It was kind of like just an introduction thing, so we didn't do much. Now I'm gonna go to the library and study and do my work, do my preparation for next week, my readings and everything. So before this clip rolls, I just need to basically clarify that as I've said many, many times in this video, that I just, I have nothing wrong or nothing against people with religion or people spreading faith 
around campus or just having that will of God in their lives. Okay. My issue with this situation and why I was kind of angry with it was because I didn't like being pressured. Basically, what happened was one lady came up to me and she was like an older woman. So I thought she was like a professor or something. And she came up to me and she was like, hey, do you have a minute? And I thought she was like asking me something because I'm first year and a lot of people are asking me stuff. So I stopped and her and this other guy like approached me and basically I was backed up to a pole and had nowhere to go and they were standing one on each side. And they're basically just like kind of pressuring me and basically telling me that I was sinning and that I was not thankful and not grateful and that basically I was doing everything wrong and that I would never experience true love, whatever, in life simply because I wasn't even religious. And multiple times in this video, I was trying to be the most respectful I could have. And I didn't run away, I didn't insult them or anything, but they just weren't respecting me the way that I was to them. And that was my issue with them. If you live according to your own view, yeah. And when you one day when you look back, you will say, "Wow, well, I have wasted so many years, valuable time." Right. As my youth time gone. If right. you know God's will, you are no meaning purpose. God's will is perfect and good for people, for you. Receive the spirit. Of God. Yeah. We will continue to lose this uh, life, joy, peace, love. We will lose everything. On the contrary, you must be changed inward. Yeah. This is why I believe our special people, yeah? Yeah. They also start. Yeah, I don't know. I just like grew up like not having religion in my life and I know like it's very good for some people but I just don't think it's like necessarily my thing. I think it's great. Because you don't expect anything from yeah. the heaven above, yeah? Yeah. You receive sunlight, the rain, the fresh air, you are not so thankful. Everything can you can eat actually is from the creation of God for nature. You are not so thankful. You want to receive everything for free. Well I guess there are like different ways in looking at different things like I think like obviously oh, I'm not gonna necessarily think that someone's way of looking at life or looking at everything around us is wrong or right but for me I kind of do just live my life as it is like I am thankful for everything that I have but everything I have I kind of did work for as well I don't really like take anything for granted or it's not like I'm not humble it's just that I live my life knowing what I want and maybe that's my will and maybe in your eyes that's wrong but in my eyes I don't see a problem with that well I well I think just like good luck with what you're doing and I hope you guys do get to share your faith with other people but maybe that person's just not me yeah maybe not today maybe not today maybe not well maybe maybe things could change and I just don't know but at the moment moment I'm fine as it is but good luck for everything you're gonna do today and I hope you guys do continue to share your faith because I think it's very important otherwise people live in sin every day this thing's not outwardly for people's eyes yeah? <laughs> but inwardly they lose life lose joy well I think it's only like a sin if you look at it I mean if you look at it that way I mean I'm like I think it's great like honestly I think having faith and having God's will in your life, it's very important and very good. But it's just, I always grew up not having that. And I grew up not needing or wanting that. And I think I'm fine as it is. And I don't think I, in the near future, I'll need it. The thing, the way you see, the way I live is like wrong and not free. But in my opinion, I genuinely don't think it's anything like that. It's what, how the way I live, it's fine. Maybe it's not to your eyes and that is, well, I guess it's just us having different opinions and us growing up differently or having different influences in our lives, but I don't think there's an issue. I can't believe I really just... <laughs> I really just stood there for 10 minutes letting them try to tell me that I should get into a cult. Like, that was so culty. That was the most culty thing I've seen. Like, that clip, I can... I can like, I have been trying to be the most respectful as I could be. And I think it was just very rude of them to just continuously say that I'm wrong and that I'm not free and that I'm sinning in my life when I've done nothing uh, but respect them and I've continuously numerous times says that it's great that they have faith but they do not want to respect me so I think that I genuinely handled the situation quite well except for this last part where I did kind of call them a cult I don't think religion is a cult I don't, I genuinely don't. As I've numerously said in the clip before this, 
I think it's great, and I think it's very positive that people have faith in their life. But I think when it's being forced onto other people, or when it's being conveyed like this, it is very culty. Like, it's not the content that is culty. It's the delivery and the way they try to tell me that I'm wrong, and they would not listen to anything I was saying. It was like I wasn't even getting through their head that was culty, and I think it's very rude. And very absurd that people would like to push that onto me, and people, it's almost like they were brainwashed and they were just forcing that belief onto me. And on campus, and in my first week of uni, that really wasn't it, and it really made me very uncomfortable. And in this clip, I guess I was just very angry. I keep saying yep and right in the video. That's not me agreeing to them. That's simply me, the way that I respond to things when I'm like concluding what I'm trying to say in my head. Like that's not me trying to say like, oh yo, you are right. That That's, I agree. Like maybe that did give off misleading information, but that's not what I intended. Don't you wish it was just mind over matter knowing that nothing ever gets better. day at uni it's currently five and i'm walking to the light rail i guess this concludes the vlog of my first week at uni i might make like a conclusion video clip like what i thought about it later so here's the conclusion clip I don't know who ever told me that uni was going to be the best time of my life because it's not it's not fun it's now week two on wednesday and I want to die.